What's going on, everyone? Uh, today is June the 21st, 2021. Welcome to HFN. We're also known as Future News. This is the location to where we are getting in position so that we can profit in the market and that we can win against the trap. The trap is the one you see on the bottom left side of my screen. Plain and simple, he creates the market. He has to move price to where he can bring the buyers and the sellers together. And the price bars and the volume is literally his bidding. It is him out there working the markets. And if you're able to interpret those things, you can actually win in this space, right? This is what we do. And if you appreciate that there's actually someone here on YouTube that is giving you all some expectations as to where price is going to go without being confused, make sure you hit that like button, share and subscribe here to the channel. I mean, we want you all to join our team. We want you all to be relaxed, not to be emotional, not to be fearful or greedy because the trap is not. The market is not acting irrational. If the market was truly irrational, we wouldn't have any way of even predicting or forecasting, even speculating where price is going to go. Right. So we're going to give you all a price prediction into the market for square and see if there's actually some huge growth potential for this particular stock. All right. So hit the like button, share and subscribe to the channel. Tap that bell notification as well, because you don't want to miss out on our content that we are creating because literally we're here to give everyone on our community a heads up as to where price is going to go. All right. So now last time we did our price prediction into the market in square was back there on April the 23rd, April 24th, 2021. And we played a weakness into the market at that particular time, right? So 10.65%, you guys can see from our price prediction was garnered on May the 6th. So it didn't take long for us to really see the market price go all the way down to our ultimate TP price, which was around 220. Now the trap was able to decrease the value of every share of Square stock all the way back down below $200. Look how much profitability that would be. 21 and a quarter percent, 21 and a half percent right there. So we were definitely in position to get that 10.65% out the market. Now, if we were to get out today, yeah, that was reduced. I mean, you'll have three and three quarters, but that's the name of the game is to take the profit out the market before someone else tries to take it from us, right? This is a very competitive market. And I don't want you all to think that everyone has your best intent. They don't. Everyone is out here trying to push a narrative. And for us, we could care less where price is going to go. So we don't have to be biased because we can make money in the market if price goes down. We can make money in the market if price goes up. So why would we be biased on any price direction when literally you can make money either way so let's take that away and let's see if this market in square has any growth potential to the upside okay uh, you guys can tell that the market in square literally came all the way down here to the low from march the 5th so i think our area of support right there around 200 is pretty much in line to where we were at so i'm going to keep it there all right so what occurred into the market in square on that last movement to the downside right here tells us that everyone in this space who is involved in square appreciate that $200 area, right? They're not trying to break the price below that number. So that is a great price for us to keep track of in terms of the huge growth potential. As long as price in square continues to trade above $200, even $220, the market is anticipated to show us growth. In the value of every share of stock that Square has, right? Now let's look at this on the three-day time frame, right? So the market in Square is definitely in a uptrend, okay? And you can see we are nearing some areas of restriction that the trap could not break price above, okay? And it's very rigid; it's not really defined as to where that restriction area point is in square okay but i'm seeing it right there around 250 250 to 260 is the area that we can see the market in square hit some restriction or more sellers appear in this space 250 to 260 okay weekly time frame the market in square did look pretty good though i mean very widespread the volume is pretty decent it's on average it's not extreme 
Now, it is a lot heavier than what we see in the last two weeks, though. Right. So it tells us that the market is in greens with trying to push up the value of Square stock. So all in all, the growth potential in Square is still here. Right. What we're seeing is the market in Square building up its next cause is building up its next energy so that it can break out to the upside. Right. That's what we're seeing. And we're not out out of the woods yet. We're not done with that process of this market in Square continuing to trade sideways so we can still make money while this stock trades in between these two lines right this is what i'm expecting this is what i'm looking forward to into the market and square is for it to bounce in between our two lines here on our chart so let me extend this out a little bit further okay so we can anticipate what we're looking forward to into the market and square The two weeks time frame looks excellent, you know, in, in terms of looking for the market and square to go higher, right? So our main premise today on, on this video is to anticipate how high. I'm seeing 250 to 260. You're on our team. What do you see? How high do you think the market and square is going to go in regards to what we're seeing here on the price chart? I even like going through these time frames. So in this price prediction, we at least had to give it two weeks, three weeks of price action for us to see the price or the trap try to take the mark to where we're expecting it to go okay so let's run this back so I said around 250 will be the first area so that would give us about five and a half percent profitability right there and then I want to take it all the way up there ultimately to run like 260 and that gives around 10% market movement in square there. Okay. Now 220, I like that area to be support, even though in the long term, that market support is around 200. Okay. So let's go ahead and play that. And let me bring this down just a little bit further though. All right, so we're in position. This is what we're looking forward to into the market and square. This is the huge growth potential that we are seeing so far. That process is the market bouncing in between our two lines. The longer that we bounce in between these two lines, the greater the huge growth potential would be in square once we break that restriction area of 280 to the upside. Okay, so now it's your turn. You're on our team. Let everyone know in our community where do you expect this price to go in square so that we can get in position and win in the market that is what we have to be about we got to speculate where price is going to go so that we can win this is what we're seeing now is your turn drop the comment in the comment section and let us know make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different